I'll never forget the first 20K month in my nutrition coaching business. Today, I'm gonna to show you the five strategies that made it happen, starting with the first big strategy, a lead generation system. By the time my nutrition coaching really took off, it was because I knew the exact actions that would lead to new paying clients. For me, there were two things that were very reliable. They were number one, doing in-person seminars to get in front of new people, and number two, posting client transformations. Doing these two things meant two to five new paying clients every time I did them. Let me explain why. The in-person strategy might surprise you as an online nutrition coach, but it worked for me and the main reason being that I got in front of new people talking about the actual science of fat loss. Remember, everything we know about fat loss has already been said, but people still want to hear you say it. They want you to add your own experience and insight and perspective, but most importantly, they just want you to put the effort into delivering it directly to them. And this is how you get clients. You start by providing value, start conversations with real people, specific insight into the solution. And then from there, all you need to do is highlight the opportunity for the next step. I used to travel to gyms doing this every other weekend, but you could just as easily do this in a webinar style presentation. And here's how you take the strategy up three notches. Leave less of it up to chance. See, we don't wanna just hope that we're gonna do this and get clients. Make it more likely to happen with this one Jedi level strategy. Since everything you're gonna talk about in the presentation is gonna be super actionable, people are gonna to wanna to take notes. So what you do is at the beginning of the presentation, tell them that they don't have to take notes because you're gonna send out a PDF copy of the presentation slides for them to review later and just pass along a clipboard for them to give you their emails. Then the day after the presentation, send out the presentation slides, as well as a follow-up with your coaching offer. See, we can use in-person events to grow our business, but we still wanna push people to our online scalable offer. This works really well. The second lead generation strategy was posting client transformations. You know, stuff like before and afters and testimonial content. Stuff that shows that you're working with actual people. Client transformations are an industry-wide tried and tested strategy. So if you have client results, you need to post them. They don't get the most likes or engagement and people don't care that much about them until they really care about them which is right before they decide to hire you. They're gonna to wanna to see a lot of proof that will validate their decision to hire you. And transformations do a great job of this. Now you don't need to replicate this exactly, but you do need to get closer to what is working well for you and then lean into that because this is gonna be different for everyone. For example, you may have a few raving fans that tell everyone, including their friends and families about your coaching. You need to incentivize this for them. Assess what's working well for you and then double down on it. These were the two reliable ways I was getting people to sign up for my nutrition coaching. But there's also one other method I used that actually made me money. And that's number two, low ticket challenges. If you watch enough Shark Tank, it's called Dragon's Den here in Canada, or you're familiar with conventional businesses, you'll know that most businesses actually pay to acquire customers. Through advertising and promotional materials, they'll actually spend 10 to $50 to acquire a new customer. For many small coaching businesses, you don't have the budget to sink into this. And you shouldn't because it's a risk you don't need to take. What's the alternative? Get people to pay you for an introduction to your coaching. Enter the low ticket challenge. Run a six to eight week nutrition challenge with a specific payoff or focus like losing 10 pounds for a lower price point between 50 to $100 that will get more people into your coaching world and familiarize them with paying you for stuff. Now I need to make one thing very clear. You're not making this the core component of your business. You're using this strategy to get more high paying clients over to your main coaching offer. Set up the challenge so that there's a weekly focus that's educational and action based, but it doesn't rely on you to individualize it or for you to actually coach people to operate. You can't have this taking up a lot of your time. And what you do wanna do is allude to the next step, which is your one-on-one -on -one coaching offer throughout the challenge. Every week you wanna tell the story of a successful coaching client in the next higher step of your coaching and make it clear why this is going to be the logical next step for many clients after they finish this challenge because there's only so much they can accomplish in weeks anyway it's important not just to wait till the end of the challenge to pitch this offer because by then it's too late anyway how well does this work? You should be able to convert anywhere between 10 to 30% of the challenge participants into paying one-on-one -on -one clients while actually getting paid and compensated to promote this to them. Many challenges can net you hundreds of dollars, but ultimately turn into thousands with clients signing up. But to pull off any of this, you need a plan, which brings us to strategy three, a plan. Shockingly, my first 20K month was the byproduct of actually mapping out a 20K month. You need a plan so you can break down where all the money will come from and what action steps you need to get there. Here's what mine looked like. My first 20K month came from approximately $11,000 from one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching, $3,000 from one-on-one -on -one nutrition and training clients, 
$3,500 from a low ticket challenge, $2,000 from an assistant coach, and $500 from an ebook or educational products. This was my plan and breaking it down allowed me to see that I needed to take on more nutrition clients and actually less powerlifting clients, which is surprising because that one's actually more expensive, but it took up more of my time. So it's really important to get better with your numbers because when you're closer to your numbers, business gets easier. This is why I teach all of my clients to also assess all the insights on their social media content because we need people clicking on the actual application link so we can reverse engineer this entire process because you probably need around 10 link clicks to get an actual application. So if a normal client transformation nets you anywhere between three to five clicks, you may need to do that three times to get a paying client. And if you need five more one-on-one -on -one paying clients to hit your revenue goals for the month, you may need to do more webinars and outreach. Get closer to your numbers and you'll get closer to your business goals. And this all comes from having a plan. But there was one line in my plan that we haven't talked about yet, which is an assistant coach leading me to my next point, which is number four, an additional coach. You may be surprised to know that at one time, I actually worked with 100 plus one-on-one -on -one nutrition clients. And I actually didn't make 20K at that point for a few reasons, all of which were my fault. This was a learning experience that taught me the top end of my clients that I could actually manage. But also to scale my coaching business even further, I was going to need some help. So I hired an assistant coach and trained them. And this is actually where the Dr. Mark method started. And they started to pick up the clients that I referred to them. The key here is making the transition from new clients wanting to work with you to handing them over to the other coach super smooth. This is also the part that freaks out a lot of nutrition coaches because because they think they are the only person to do the coaching. But let me be the first to tell you that this is just your ego and that others can do what you do and in some cases even better. And this is just what we need to explain to our potential clients as well. And it looks something like this. Thanks so much for your coaching application. I currently can't take on any new clients, so you have two options. Number one, I'll put you on my wait list and you'll get the first open spot when it opens up. Or number two, and this is an even better idea. You can get started right away working with my assistant coach, Meredith. Based on everything you described, I actually think they might be a better fit for your situation and your coaching. Plus their rates are a little lower than mine, so you'll be ahead that way. Let me know how you'd like to proceed. From there, I took a revenue split and the industry standard is around 60, 40 in favor of the coach in exchange for the referral, mentoring this coach and setting them up within my systems. And depending on how much you like managing people and how in demand your services are, this might be the right move for you too. But there's one more thing I'm missing and that's number five, charging more. Now the quickest way to ramp up your coaching income is just to simply charge more. And this is the last lesson I learned during my 20K month. I was worth way more than I was charging and I left left a lot of money on the table by not making this move sooner. And chances are, if you're watching this, you're also undercharging for your services. So do yourself a favor and bump your prices. You don't have to double these overnight, but you should be incrementally bumping the price of your services by 10 to $25 per month every three to five clients that go through your system. This will help you make more money, but also get clients better results because they'll take it more seriously, which means more referrals and more clients. And then you could take the additional money and reinvest it into help to continue to grow your business. Also having a higher price point will make the assistant coach on your team a more attractive option like we talked about in number four, which also makes this handoff much more seamless. And those are the five strategies that helped me propel to my first 20K month in my nutrition coaching business. This is truly life-changing money and it was all made possible through teaching people how to eat on the internet, wild. You can do this too and I'm sure these tips will help. But as great as all those tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. One thing I left out is how to master sales calls. And if you want to close more high ticket clients, you're going to need to become better at that. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in the next video.